Thursday, September 8th, it is the Top Cop game with Auburn hosting Lester in high school football and all the proceeds going to benefit the family of fallen officer Ron Tarantino. Lester is proud to be a part of this game honoring Officer Tarantino. And we're excited to support the family. I think on a personal level, I just can't wait to see all those people there tonight to support the Tarantinos. It's, just, it's special to be a part of it. It's special to see the endless amount of people who just are stepping forward. I struggle with the how important personally this win is because I just want it to be a great night for the families and the policemen. So do we want to win? Yeah, competitive juices will take over. But in the, I'm just so excited to be a part of it, quite honestly, and um, just... I can't wait for the coin toss to see Trish and her family out there. And we will be broadcasting the game live right here on Charter TV 3. It is Auburn and Lester. And again, you can buy tickets for this game now. Uh, tickets are going fast. Get out there, get your tickets now. All of the money, all the proceeds go to benefit the family of Officer Ron Tarantino, who was killed in the line of duty. Auburn, Lester, September 8th at Auburn High School. is going to be a nice night to show the support for Officer Tarantino's family. All right, new divisional lineups in Central Mass High School football, but the same great enthusiasm from the high school players. St. Peter Marion playing in Division Three, and the Guardians happy to be back on the field and getting after it again. There's no better feeling than high school football, man. Coming out here with your best friends in the locker room, blasting music before practice, coming out here knowing you're going to get your butt kicked in the conditioning, but it's just a great feeling. Uh, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. You know, football is uh, it's one of one of one of a kind sport. Uh, there's no other feeling like it being out here working with all your teammates, being the, being a real family. I mean, it's exciting. It's a uh, senior year. You know, this is it. You know, big time. So excited to be back. You know, it's really great being back with all my teammates. Uh, we did have weight room and stuff, but being back with everyone, you know, it's great. Everyone's giving hard work, and everyone looks 100% so far. And St. Peter Marion will open up the season on September the 10th, taking on Northbridge in a game that you can also see live right here on Charter TV3. The Holy Cross football team has a ton of experience returning, so there's not a lot of jobs up for grab during this preseason camp. Now, for the coaches, that's kind of a good news, bad news thing. You don't have that intensity that, ha that you get in practice when you have open positions and you have battles for those open spots, but what you do have is players with a lot of experience to know how to get the job done. There weren't many decisions to be made at a lot of positions, and there's some good and bad to it. It's mostly good um, because we have a lot of veteran players coming back, very experienced players, and some accomplished players, you know, that were on the all-league list and so on. So, um, you know, that th those are good. Uh, uh, I, you know, you, you worry about the competition factor, but at the same time, our senior group especially are very mature. They're great leaders, and they don't need someone pushing them harder um, to work hard. They're working hard on their own. And Holy Cross will open up their season at Morgan State. 30 years ago, Gordy Lockbaum was a junior at Holy Cross. He came in fifth in the Heisman Trophy in voting that year. Now, that Holy Cross offense that year had a brand new offensive coordinator in Tom Rossley. He came from the USFL. He brought with him a wide open West Coast offense. No one had seen this at any division. Everything was two back or three backs running the option in college football. He had a wide open, four wide receiver set, one back offense. Gordy Lockbaum loved playing in it. Holy Cross was just piling up points in those days. It was great to be involved in that offense. We had, uh, uh, you know, an I pro uh, type of offense in previous years, and uh, you know, so we still ran a lot of I, but I was motioning up into the slot and running uh, option routes, and and it was just awesome. It was so much fun to be slinging it that many times a game, and you know, Jeff Wiley threw for about 3,600 yards and hundreds of touchdowns. It was just tremendous. And Gordy Lockbaum played both ways, too, and took a lot of pride in physically being ready to take on that workload. And a score of great players. But if I think that uh, my legs would usually be back maybe Thursday. You know, I literally, you're just, you're working out and, and you get your legs back and you get that, those twitch muscles are, are rested and ready to go by Thursday. But for the most part, I'm, I'm sure my practice uh, game, uh, speed wasn't all that fast uh, early in the week, but it usually came back by the end of the week. Yeah, your roommate, one of your roommates, Jimmy Andrioli, said on Sundays you would just literally lay in bed. You'd be so banged up you couldn't get out of bed. I was and then up. try to, like, late Sunday night, okay, we got to go run and try to get something. But Well, I had the, the good thing about Jimmy and, and my other close friends is, you know, we, we would try to get a, get a workout in on Sunday just to, 
you know, get the lactic acid out of your muscles and just get a good workout. And we did a, you know, we stayed committed to that throughout the season, and that was key. And, and I, I learned that, uh, you know, after my sophomore year where I was very banged up all season. But I found that if, if we just got another workout in, got busy, uh, you know, those things would work themselves out. All right, now quickly shifting to the soccer pitch. And former Westboro standout Jenna Thomas leading UMass against Holy Cross this afternoon. First half scoreless game, Holy Cross feeding Allie Newman and the shot just up and over the crossbar. UMass coming back. Megan Burke with the cross in front of the net. Uh, Alyssa, Alyssa Fratacangeli with the shot. And Caroline Cashin with the stop. UMass getting the win this afternoon, 2-0 is your final, and that is sports. Thanks, Kevin. That'll do it for us tonight for What's the News Tonight. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Tune in again tomorrow.